Today, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to see how far we can get this old IROC FM transmitter to go. So currently when I test it, it'll go across my house. So I'll just plug an, I an old iPod into it and turn it on. And I'll just turn on this little text and radio app. And then so yeah, you can tell it works, but you'd expect it to work that close. So we're gonna rip it apart and see if we can add an antenna and possibly see if there's the resistor limiting the current to the antenna we can remove and get it to transmit a lot further. So let's get started. I've just removed the battery cover and batteries. So now we can get rid of these screws. And you can see this one's a little rusty. So I'm not sure if it's gonna to wanna to come out. There. I'm guessing this thing got spilt on at one point. Oh, look at that. Just leaving rust all over my screwdriver. But it's just the tip, not the entire screw. If you're wondering why my fingers look so gross, it's because it's been really cold here recently, like minus, or below minus 30 degrees Celsius. So that's why. Okay, we've removed all the screws, so let's pop it open. So, it's almost apart, just need to pull a little bit. And we need to desolder these battery contacts. So I'll do that. Desolder those as well. So I can see the antenna actually goes to here. I'm going to be putting in my own antenna so that I can just probably leave in the audio source. I think I'll just leave that on there. So now let's investigate this board a little bit. This is the side that you can see through that little window. And I'm guessing one of these resistors will be connected to where the antenna goes. So I'll get my multimeter and we'll see and if one does we'll just remove it and jump it and see if that'll boost our coverage. Okay I got my multimeter it's just sitting off camera. I'll just clip this onto the end of the resistor and we'll just connect it to one of my multimeter leads and we'll see if we get any continuity in our antenna. I actually don't think we will because I believe these resistors, you know, you can tell they're on the other side of the board. Yeah. I think they're probably for something else. Mm -hmm. Those don't have anything to do with the antenna. So I guess I could check some surface mount resistors, see if those have anything to do with the antenna. Yeah. Getting continuity between this resistor. So, I think I might just jump it before removing it, and we'll see if that makes a distance or a difference in how far I can pick this up. Off camera, I realized that this resistor here wasn't actually connected to our antenna, it was connected to our either right or left channel, I can't remember which one. So I did some more poking around and I found this resistor actually connects to the antenna. It comes right from the main IC there. And I'm not sure if this is in charge of outputting the signal, but I'll jump it with some magnet wire and we'll see if that makes a difference or if that wrecks it. I ended up doing some more testing and I removed that resistor completely. If you can see, kind of a mess here, but it works exactly the same without it. I didn't seem to get any different results. And I've been trying different antennas just by soldering this alligator clip to the antenna connection. And the only way I can get good broadcasts is just with this built-in antenna. So I'm gonna have to look into that a little bit more. 
because I'm not sure why whenever I use anything else. It just sounds awful and doesn't go far. I think I'm gonna have to call it quits for this video. I couldn't really find a way to get this to go further. I had an alligator clip that I can hook to things, but it didn't really seem to make a difference. You can hear it right now, it's working perfectly fine. And I can still only get it to go like as far as I could get it to go at the beginning of the video. So, I'm not too sure. It still works. I kind of changed some stuff around and messed it up. You see that wire is poking out. I have to push it back. I'll pop it open later and do that. So it's kind of a mess. But, yeah, I think I'm going to call this video quits. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. It was anticlimactic, but thanks for watching. The only thing I achieved in this video was scratching out my iPod a whole lot more.